I also think that it was probably an idea that was more relevant during the initial, during the, the mid to late stages, say, of the development of the Industrial Revolution. Because to work in a factory meant something very different than to work as a peasant. First of all, if you were working in a factory, you, you became bound by time in a way that human beings had never been bound by time. You know, we, we time everything. Seconds mean something to modern people. You know, but it took a, a long time for the idea that, that, that time was of the essence for the organizing of, organizing of human life. And a lot of that occurred as people moved into the factories. And so, you can see, for example, the, the legacy of that in, in the modern elementary, in the modern pre-university school systems, because the school systems that most of you attended with their rows of desks and their buzzers and their bells and their recesses are basically factory structures that emerged from the Industrial Revolution that were characteristic of the way that working people who worked in factories organized their lives. So the, the bells that go off between periods and to announce that it's noon and to tell you that school's out, those are factory bells. And so you can see, you can see echoes of Freud's idea that the superego and the ego and the id are in conflict by imagining, for example, how difficult it is for a very active six-year-old, especially if they're male, to sit quietly and regulate themselves by the bell for six or seven hours, you know, when they first go to grade one. And the fact that, you know, Freud would say, if he was alive, that the reason that so many people have attention deficit disorder is because the demands of the superego, so to speak, in the school system are so excessive that there's the, the clash produces pathology. Now, the pathology is obviously defined by the situation. If you define pathology as being unable to sit down and pay attention to things that are deadly boring while you should be running around playing and having fun and wearing yourself to a frazzle then that's pathology, that's attention deficit disorder and you can treat it with Ritalin but that's only because you can treat anybody with Ritalin you know, as I'm sure many of you know so, you know, Ritalin is an amphetamine and it, it makes you focus more on whatever you happen to be focused on though there's no real evidence that it provides any boost in academic achievement over any reasonable amount of time. But if you think about it that way, you see, you can understand what Freud meant by this superego versus ego conflict, or the superego ego id conflict. Attention deficit disorder is a perfect example of that. And then the pathology is defined by the circumstance. If we didn't have schools that are like the schools we have, we wouldn't have attention deficit disorder as a... As a as a pathology. Now, and people like to think about it as a scientific category. You know, it's a disease, and it's, it's, a disease is like an objective entity. It's like, well, no, it's not a disease, and it's not an objective entity. It's a sociocultural construction. However, there are certain people who are going to be more prone to be diagnosed with it than others, and that would mostly be um, extroverted, open extroverted kids because they're not going to sit down and shut up because they can't they're extremely curious and mostly what they want to do is talk to everyone and play now Panksepp, Jack Panksepp, Jack Panksepp actually has done really interesting experiments with male rats and he showed that if you deprive male juvenile rats of rough and tumble play their, um, their prefrontal cortex doesn't mature which is also a real hats off to Piaget's theory of play as critical for higher levels of development and that you can you can also inhibit their tendency to play using Ritalin so it's pretty sad it's, in fact it's appalling really so and I see people in my clinical practice fairly frequently who come in and said well they were diagnosed with ADHD when they were like four or whatever it's like great you know P pathetic it's pathetic that that happens